Hi, I'm Brandon Schroyer. I'm the youth pastor at Trinity Wesleyan over in Tipton. And before we jump into this devotional, I would like to pose this question to you. What is God's call on your life? What has God ordained for you to do on this earth? Think about that while we dive into scripture in Acts chapter 13, verses one through four. Verse one says, among the prophets and teachers of the church at Antioch of Syria were Barnabas, Simeon, Lucius, Manian, and Saul. One day, as these men were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, dedicate Barnabas and Saul for the special work I have for them. In these first couple verses, we actually see the fulfillment of a promise that was given in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 18, where it says, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there with them. And we see here that the Holy Spirit isn't just there with them, the Holy Spirit's giving a command. The Holy Spirit is dedicating Barnabas and Saul to be sent out for the work that he has for them. This work specifically being spreading the gospel. Now, I remember when I got my call to ministry and I was 18, I had just graduated high school, I was at church camp and I was actively running from the will of God in my life. I was pursuing what I thought was going to be my career, but God had something else in store for me. And that's what's funny about having a call in your life is that things can change drastically. You might have your life planned out one way, but once you submit your will to God, everything can change. But then things become more clear. Things are different. You become more focused on what you have to do. And regardless of whether you feel equipped or not, God equips those that he calls. God doesn't call those who are equipped. It's easier to teach a servant to lead than it is to teach a leader to serve. Let's jump back in to verse three and four. Verse three, it says, so after more fasting and prayer, the men laid their hands on them and sent them on their way. Sent out by the Holy Spirit, Saul and Barnabas went down to the seaport of Seleucia and then sailed for the island of Cyprus. When I got my call to ministry, it was very similar to this part of scripture because we, we were worshiping, we were praising God during this service and God's presence was there. Although I might have been the only one to hear God's voice that evening, I heard his voice call me to ministry. And with that, I went to my youth pastor and I explained my experience and he started to tear up and he was like, Brandon, I've been waiting for you to say this for a while now. And then he and a few other leaders of that church camp surrounded me. And they laid, hand, laid hands on me and they prayed over me much like what happened in Acts 13. See, the early church recognized that it was important to not only send out people, but it was important to pray over them before they were sent out. Prayer was an essential part of the early church. It was essential to how they operated day to day. And we need to take that as a template on how we need to operate on our day to day, not only individually, but as a local church, and not only as a local church, but a global church. So as we continue through these 21 days of prayer, I encourage you to seek out those people in your church that you can send. I encourage you to find the Pauls, the Sauls, the Barnabases, Provide opportunities to help people find their calling. Find those who are called and be faithful in sending them out. And to those who think that they may have a call to be sent, I encourage you to talk to someone about that. Try and discern what God might be telling you to do. What God might be stirring in your heart. Because then will you not only be sent out but you can fulfill the will of God in your own life. Let me ask you this question one more time. What's God's call on your life? Let's pray. 
Father, as we are seeking your face through this time of prayer, I pray you reveal yourself to us. May it be through worship and praise or fasting and prayer. Show us your will so that we can align ourselves with you and not any other standard of this world. I pray as we move through these 21 days of prayer that there are people who have their call revealed to them. It doesn't matter if they're 17 years old or 70 years old. You have a specific purpose for each of us on this earth. And I pray that by your grace, each of us can find out what role we need to play in your church and in your body and in your kingdom, Father God. Holy Spirit, I pray that we as a church would be faithful to you, not only in finding the people that we are called to be sent, but to send out those who are being called and that we are faithful in actually sending them out. That we as a church can encourage and support those who feel called to do the work you have set before them. Holy Spirit, pour out your grace upon us and allow us to submit to you, not only as individuals, but as your church. May we praise you in all we do. May we honor you in word and deed. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Take a few minutes and go over the prayer points that are provided for you.